Good morning, Transformers. I hope you're doing well, wherever you are, from wherever you're watching us across the world. Thank you so much for joining us this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. This is the day that the Lord God has made, and surely we shall rejoice and be glad in it, because that is your role, and that is my role, in Jesus' mighty name. So this week, we have been tackling the topic of the concept of loving God. And we started by defining what does it mean to love God, to love God, the aspect of loving God. And uh, our pilot verse has been Mark chapter 12, verse 30, which says, love the Lord your God is an instruction that we were given. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. So we have been tackling this verse uh, small portion, small portion, small portion so that you can be able to understand the treasures, the treasures that are in this verse and why this verse is arguably, it's not even arguably, it's the most important verse. Why this verse is the most important verse that we need to take at heart because this is where the foundation of life is to the glory and honor of God's holy name. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us to discuss and dissect your word to the glory and to the honor of your holy name. We love you. We give you praise and we give you honor. Lord, as we talk about the essence of loving you with everything that we have, including our strength, be with us guide us, be our strength, so that we can be able to learn how to love you, Lord, with our strength and with everything that you have mentioned in this word, holy word of yours. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen. Today, we are going to discuss the last, last portion of that scripture, and that is loving God with all your strength or with all your might. Loving God with all your strength and with all your might. What is the meaning of the word might? Might means the power, authority, energy, and resources wielded or intensity of which one is capable. It means the power, authority, energy, and resources wielded. That's the first part. And the another meaning of the word might is the intensity of which man is capable. One is capable. One is capable. Now let's, let us look at those words. Power. Power. The first part is power. What is the meaning of the word power? Or power, you can just say even authority. What is the meaning of the word authority? Authority means the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and enforce obedience. Authority means the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and enforce obedience. Meaning that when God tells you to love him with all your might, he simply instructs you to love him with all the power that you have all the power, that right that you have of giving orders, love God with that power. That right and power that God has given you, either through your career, through your ministry, or he has placed you in life where you are the one issuing out direction and making decisions on, be, on behalf of the company or ministry or organization, God requires you to love him, love him with that power, with that strength that he has given you to give orders, to make decisions, and to enforce obedience. Meaning that whatever, that thing that will guide you to become a person of integrity, that person who will not abuse power, is by cultivating a sincere and authentic love for God. That is the meaning of the word loving God with all your might, with the authority that he has given you. Energy. That's the second thing that you have uh, come across when you are defining the word might. Energy. We say that might means the power, authority, or en energy or resources wielded. Wielded. So energy means power. Power or strength required for sustained physical or mental activity. 
So authority means power and energy also means power. So the key word here is power. Key word here is power. I want you to know that. Key word here is power. So energy means power or strength required for sustained physical and or mental activity. So loving God with all your might simply means to exercise total fidelity to him in the authority that God has given you and through the energy that God has given you. Because everything, all good things come from God. He is the one who gave you that power. He is the one who gave you that energy that you have. Meaning that loving God with all your might, it means you need to exercise total fidelity to him with every single ability and resources and power and authority that he has granted you. He has granted you. It could be the position that you are in, in your workplace. It could be your business, your wealth, your time, your resources, your work ethic, that work ethic that you have. Are you directing it into the affairs of God or are you directing it into the affairs of hell? That is what it means to love the Lord your God with all your might, with all your might and with everything that you have, with that power that he has given you. In, in any place that you go, uh, maybe a place where you, you have worked before, maybe you are currently working, any place where you see the abuse of power, any place where you see abuse of power, there is presence of ignorance of the importance of this part, of loving the Lord, God, the Lord or your God with all your might. There is presence of ignorance of this particular portion of the scripture. How do you treat those people who are working under you, those people who you are supervising, that house girl, the students that you are teaching, how do you treat them? How do you use your power over them? Do you love God with that authority that he has given you? Or even as a, for example, as a policeman, if you're a policeman and you're listening to me, how do you use your authority in the society, in the community? Do you use it to abuse people? Do you use it to take advantage of the poor? How do you love God with that position that he has given you to police the community? How do you love God with all that position, with all that authority that God has given you as a CEO? How do you love God with all that authority? Do you love God with all that authority that, God, that he has given you? As a pastor shepherding people, as a doctor treating the sick, as a person who has been entrusted by, 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 by people to lead them, how do you love? Because integrity is rooted, is deeply rooted in the foundation of love and fear for God. Because remember we discussed that the only way you can be able to attain the fear of God is through love. So if you love God, you will fear God and you will love every aspect, everything, every investment that God has. And the most important investment that God has is people, is people. So automatically, if you love God with all your power, all your mind, all your strength, all your authority, all your energy, you will love all the people that he has brought that God has brought to you so that you can shepherd them in whatever area of calling that he has given you it is very important and remember we said that the mind is the headquarter of the operations of the body meaning that if the love of God is what dominates your mind the love of God is what dominates your mind, then the mind will send signals. Remember we discussed that? It will send signals and order 
and orders to your heart. And out of the heart, out of the heart, the frequencies of the love of God will be transmitted all over, all over your priorities. Your priorities will be shifted all over the aspects of your life and decisions. And your energy will be stirred up and you will be able to channel the love of God in that authority, in that power, in that might, in that energy that God has given you. And now your priority will be to focus your attention and energy to the things that promote the advancement of the interests of God, who is the lover of your soul. And you will seek to love him with your power, with your energy. You will seek to please him always, because that's what lovers do. They seek to please each other. Use your might, use your strength, use any position that God has given you. The position of authority that God has given you. The strength, the might, the energy. Stop wasting your energy on the things that are leading you to addictions. On the things that will break your family, will break your marriage. Focus on spending your energy, your strength, in the knowledge, in the pursuit of the knowledge of God. And you will be able you will be able to love the Lord your God with your might and with your strength. And from there, your life will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. And you will be renewed and refreshed in everything that you do. That's how important loving the Lord your God with all your might is. Friends, let's love the Lord our God with everything. And as we finish and conclude the devotions of this week, Mark chapter 12 verse 30 has given us a clear instruction. Love the Lord your God. Purpose. Purpose and focus to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Purpose to love the Lord your God with all your soul. Purpose to love the Lord your God with all your mind and eventually purpose to love the Lord your God with all your strength. And I assure you, your life will be transformed and you will become a transformer, a true transformer and an agent trusted by God to handle the great catch in Jesus' mighty name. We honor you, we love you, we give you praise, Jehovah. Thank you so much for this wonderful week that we have gotten to learn about the most important commandment and that is to love you with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our minds and with all our strength. Jehovah remember us, remember us for we are clay, for we are clay, remember us and forgive us O oh Lord. Sometimes we are distracted by the frequencies of the world in a way that we forget the first love. We forget you. We forget you who loved us. We forget that you loved us even when we were, un in the eyes of the world, we were unlovable and we were destined to destruction. You loved us so much that you sent your only begotten son who was crucified, who was beaten for our sake. Have mercy on us and remember us, O oh Lord, and strengthen us, O oh Lord, so that we can be able to love you authentically without desiring any transactional thing, O oh Lord. We just want to love you with our hearts, with our souls, fully for who you are. Help us, O oh Lord. Be with us, guide us, and protect us. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much. Dear Transformers, purpose to love the Lord your God with everything in you, with your heart, with your soul, with your mind, with your strength, with your resources, everything with you. And as you purpose to do that, may the Lord God be with you. May he remember you. May he remember your labor, your work in putting that effort to love him sincerely. And may he bless you 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.